Greetings everyone. Welcome to Makeup Geek 1021. Today we are going to be covering that new episode of The Gifted because man, there's a lot to talk about. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos because with all the TV shows having new seasons, I try to cover new episodes as frequently as I possibly can. Alright, so let's get into the fact that in this episode, I was just happy to see Reed talking with John about his powers. I'm just loving this relationship developing here between John and Reed. It's great to see that the mutant underground is actually becoming a lot closer in the form of a family type, mu type of unit. You know, it was amazing to see. Next, we learn that Wire is dead was I glad to know that we didn't have to see him again but then we learn he's got a brother named Graf who is equally as annoying as he is and considering he was shooting at John I mean Thunderbird's idea to just run in there like a bat out of hell and take this guy with them I mean I know John's bulletproof almost as durable as Wolverine but come on there, there's only so much this man's body can take Next thing you know, they're learning of the fact that the Hellfire Club is about to attack this mental institution. And we learn that the way mutants end up in mental hospitals that are more like prisons is because state officials have doctors diagnose mutants as crazy so they can have them locked up. I'm really starting to wonder if this is going to be the case with the new Mutants movie because if that's the case, then that's one hell of an Easter egg. Then we hear Lorna's birth father might have been the one to put her in a mental hospital. They are just dropping Magneto references left and right, and I love it. Also, in X-Men Evolution, Magneto dumped his daughter, Wanda Maximoff, into a mental hospital because that show really imagined Wanda as a combo of her character from the comics mixed with Lorna. So this really feels as though they are just coming at us with these references to the cartoons and the comics and the movies that haven't even come out yet. I love it. And... Then we learn good old Jace Turner might be joining the Purifiers. You see, I find it pretty hypocritical of Jace to say that he doesn't want to join a hate group when all of last season he was working with the Hound program to kidnap and torture mutants to force them to work with Sentinel Services. Wow, that is, that is rich. But at the same time, Jace didn't think it would be taken that far. Bar, he's really reminding me of Ultimate Marvel Warren Worthington Jr. All right, y'all, let me know down below in the comments what did you think of this episode. So far, this episode is my favorite of the season. The action, the drama, the desperation in characters like Reed and Lauren and Jason, seeing Lauren interacting with Marcos and seeing Reed interacting with John, where those characters never really interact that much together on screen. Like, who knew that? Uh, the chemistry between Blair Redford and Stephen Moyer even existed. This was just a brilliant episode and it was amazing. 